Hi, fifth graders. I'm going to get you started with our novel study, Hatchet. This is the book that our classroom is doing to start out the school year. Um, if you're in the B cohort, you should have a copy already. If you are in the A cohort, you will receive it Monday at school. Um, I want to give you a little background about the book before you start reading. So the author of this book is Gary Paulson. You've probably heard of him. The genre is adventure, and this story is told from the perspective of the main character, Brian. So this over here, this is the back of the book. I'm going to read that to you to give you a little background. It says, 13-year-old Brian Robeson is on his way to visit his father when the single-engine plane in which he is flying crashes. Suddenly, Brian finds himself alone in the Canadian wilderness with nothing but a tattered windbreaker and the hatchet his mother gave him as a present, and the dreadful secret that has been tearing him apart since his parents' divorce. But now, Brian has no time for anger, self-pity, or despair. It will take all his know-how and determination and more courage than he knew he possessed to survive. Um, this book is very adventurous, boys and girls. Um, I hope that if you have not already read this book, that that gets you kind of excited to start reading and find out what Brian does. Um, first up, I have a reading calendar for you. Um, you can see here that on Monday the 21st, we're reading chapters one and two. Those chapters are for both cohorts. So if you are in school, we will be reading these together or at school. If you are at home, it is your responsibility to complete those chapters on the correct day. It's very important that you stay on track. Uh, if you skip one day, then you fall behind and you'll have a lot of reading to catch up on. So it's spaced out for you a couple chapters um, a day. Some days, like you'll see here Tuesday and Thursday, it's one chapter and some work time in the packet. Um, and then when we get to October 7th, we will be ending the book on a Wednesday, which works out perfectly because we'll have a WebEx and we'll all be together. And then we will have a couple days to work on story elements. So this calendar is in your packet. You have a copy of it. Um, it is your responsibility to stay on track with everyone. Um, a, another reason that's really crucial is when you show up for your in-school days, you need to, we all need to be on the same page. All right, materials that you will need for this novel study can be found in Schoology. Uh, you'll be using that fifth grade resources folder that I showed you in school. Um, once you click in, you'll see a novel studies folder, and inside there you'll find the hatchet novel study. Once in this green hatchet folder, you're going to see a folder for about every three chapters. So in the first um, folder, chapters one through three, you will find audio for each chapter, one quiz for every three chapters. So you'll read chapters one, two, and three, and then take a quiz. Then you'll read chapters four, five, and six, and then you'll take the second quiz. So not Every chapter will you be taking a quiz, but every three. And they are very short, I think, five question quizzes. Um, and then lastly, there is a link to dictionary.com. That's there just to help you with the vocabulary work in the packet. Let's jump over to Schoology so I can show you one more time. So I'm on the, um, the first page that Schoology takes me to. Remember, we always go to courses in the top left. We choose our hybrid course. And then it opens up to the materials page automatically and there's fifth grade resources near the top. Um, if you scroll down, novel studies, click in, and then the green hatchet is the novel study that our class is doing to start the year. And I'm just gonna show you um, what one of these folders looks like. So chapters one, two, and three, you see the audio for each chapter and that's a link that takes you to YouTube so that you can listen to the book while you follow along 
You do not have to use these. It's optional. I know some people like to follow along and some people like to read at their own pace. Uh, so whether you use those or not is completely up to you. It is not something you have to do. Here is the link for dictionary.com. When you click the red words, it will take you to that. Oh, you got to click one more time. There we go. It takes me to dictionary.com. You type in the word you're looking up right up here in this white box, and the definition will come up for you. You will need that for some of your work in the packet if you come across words you don't know. Okay, and then last in here, there's the quiz for chapters one, two, and three. All right. Let's take a peek at what these packets look like. Um, after the calendar, the next thing you see is this character chart. It says draw a picture and record important information about each important character as you read the text. So here's on this first line, you'll put the character's name. And then as you learn facts about them, you'll fill this in. Uh, you won't just read one chapter and fill out this whole page or even these first few lines. You'll go back to this page as you learn more about each character. So even the main character, Brian, we already know he's the main character. So you would write Brian right here. And then as you learn more about him, as you continue reading the book, you would add facts about him that you believe are important. And then the little box is for your picture. Then when you learn about a new character, you'll start the new box. So you'll be using this page um, throughout the entire book as you learn more about each character. And these pages are not due. I think there are two character pages. They are not due until the end of the novel. Next, you'll find a vocabulary study. Kind of like the quizzes, there's one vocabulary study for every three chapters. So you can see this one is for chapters one, two, and three. Um, so as you read chapters one, two, and three, you'll come across these vocabulary words. Whoops. Um, this is where you might need dictionary.com if there is a word you don't know to look up. Um, otherwise, each vocabulary study will be slightly different. In this case, you're doing a matching activity and a fill in the blank and a little extra. Um, so you'll see one of these pages for every three chapters, just like um, how the folders go in Schoology. Then you'll see a chapter summary for chapters one, two, and three. So really there are two pages that go with every three chapters. The book or the packet kind of chunks the book every three chapters. Um, and this is just where you are going to fill out kind of what you understand from those three chapters that you read. Wrap it up. Tell me what happens. Um, on this page, it asks you your favorite section of the book, favorite part, some things, some new words you learned, a place to draw a picture. Each chapter summary might be a little different, um, but they're generally similar. I need you to write in complete sentences and use punctuation on these pages. You can use your colored pencils whenever there is a drawing box. Last, at the end of your packet, there are a few pages for different story elements. Please wait for instruction to complete these. You, will, you won't be doing them on your own. We will either do them in class with a lesson or you'll have an instructional video on Schoology at a later date. So please leave these last few pages until you're instructed to complete them. I put in here the vocabulary words for the first three chapters, so you won't have to use dictionary.com if you don't want to. They are here to help you as a resource. You can pause this video and use them to help with your packet. Um, and then going forward, you will look them up on your own from dictionary.com. All right, fifth graders, let's get reading. Good luck to the B cohort starting at home. I am excited to hear from you on WebEx Wednesday and then again on Thursday when I see you in person and A cohort. I look forward to seeing you Monday morning to get started.